Hello family, good evening. Welcome to tonight's prayer. God bless you. I hope you had a blessed and fruitful day today. Okay, my name is Faith and this is Joy in Zoe Intercessory Prayer Ministries. We meet here every Monday to Friday from 9 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. to pray for the unreached people. Okay, so we're here again tonight and we are going to pray, okay? So before we begin, let's bless the name of the Lord. Let's thank him for tonight and for the grace and the privilege to be here again to pray for this people group. In the name of Jesus, amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, for the grace and the privilege to be here again in your presence tonight. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your goodness, your kindness. Thank you, Father, for the privilege to stand in the gap to intercede for the unreached people group. We say, blessed be your name, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, we thank you for every intercessor that's joining us tonight. We pray, O God, that even as we join our faith together to pray for the unreached people today, we ask that your word will get them speedily. They will be reached quickly in the name of Jesus. Amen. They will receive the salvation of Jesus and be saved. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Father, we thank you. We pray by your spirit and power to pray your will tonight. Above all, let your kingdom come and let your will be done. Take over, sweet Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, family. So, uh, back to today's people group. Today, we'll be praying for the Dongan in Kyrgyzstan. Dongan in the Dongan, Dongon, Dongon in Kyrgyzstan. Okay, sorry. So the Dongon people group. All right, before we begin to um, talk about the nice people group, let's find out who these unreached people are. Now, the unreached people group, these people, they come from the same ethnic group, they speak the same language, they live in the same community, they practice the same culture, but these people does not have, they do not have um, the church presence around them. They don't have access to the gospel, they don't have access to gospel materials. They don't know who Jesus Christ is. And this is why we are here to stand in the gap and pray for them so that the word of the Lord can get to them through his missionaries. They don't even have people enough to evangelize them. That is if they have at all, because um, most times they have only few Christians among them, which is not enough to evangelize the whole of their community. Okay, so most of those people group, um, they need outside help to be evangelizing outside help to evangelize them um, every information will bring to you about the unreached people we get from the joshua project platform that is the joshua project.net you can find them on joshua project.net you can also find them on their facebook page joshua project so you can know study to know more about the unreached people and how you can be a part of this great commission but before you begin to look them up i'll give you a tip one way you can be a part of this great commission is by adopting an unreached people group and dedicate time daily to pray for them you can pray for them individually you can pray for them with your family with your friends with your pastors but just adopt a group and Pray for them daily. Another way is by adopting a missionary group. Um, these are the people who take the gospel and the gospel materials to these people across the nations. So you can adopt a missionary group and then support them with your finance and, and also with your prayers. So the word of the Lord can get to this people group quickly. As you do this, know your fulfilling scripture because the word of the Lord says it's not the will of the Father that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance and be saved. So you will fulfill the scriptures. As you do this, the Lord continue to bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Okay. So back to tonight's people group. Today we are praying for the Dungan, the Dungan in Kyrgyzstan. Now, these people have a population of 75,000. 
and a world population of 156,300. This, they speak the Dongon language, Dongon language, and the their primary religion is Islam. They have 0.0% Christian adherent and 0.0% evangelical. They they have access to portions of the Bible. That is, only portions of the Bible is available in the Dongon language. And they, they do not have access to audio New Testament Bible. They have access to the Jesus film. They don't have access to audio recordings. And their status still remains unreached. Their status is unreached. Now, the Dongon people, they, they, are originated, they originated in the Kansu and Shenzhi province of northwestern China. But today... There are people from Kansu living in the mountains and valleys of Kyrgyzstan. Culturally, the Dongon are similar to the Han Chinese, but their language is greatly influenced by Arabic, Persian, and Turkish. So they are proud, hospitable, nationalistic, and conservative people who refer to themselves as Chinese Muslims, despite having cut ties with China, despite having cut ties with China. So the ministry obstacle, the hindrance of the gospel to this people group is that the Dongun are famous for their hospitality and diversity, which would usually make it easier for religion to spread. However, they have had little opportunity to hear the gospel. At present, they remember um, they remain nominal Muslims. Right now, they remain nominal Muslims, both in China and in Kyrgyzstan, where uh, we know of no Dongan who have put their faith in Christ, except in Mongolia. So, but there is good news. The outreach idea on how we can get to these people is that the few Dongo Christian believers in Mongolia can share their faith with those in Kyrgyzstan. The Jesus film and portions of scripture already exist in the Dongo language. So all these are, are resources and mediums through which the Dongo people can be reached with the gospel. So we're going to pray on the outreach idea for the Dongo Christians in Mongolia that to, to hear the call of God, to take the gospel to those um, Dongo people in Kyrgyzstan in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we commit this outreach idea to your throne of grace. We we'll pray, O oh God, for the breath of the Almighty to come upon this idea, that this idea will receive instant action right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. We we'll pray, O oh God, that the the Dongon Christian, the Dongon believers in Mongolia, that they will hear the call of the Lord, they will hear the call of the Holy Spirit to take the gospel of Jesus to the Dongon people in Kyrgyzstan in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We we'll pray, O oh God, that the gospel materials, the Jesus film that is already available in the Dongon language, we we'll pray, O oh God, that you will raise believers, O oh God, peace, loving, and patient believers who will take this gospel to this people group. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. We we'll pray that you raise believers who will take this gospel to them, take these materials to them, teaching them the ways of the Lord, bringing them to the knowledge and the truth about Christ. And we we'll pray that their hearts shall be open to receive in the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the fruits of this idea, this outreach idea this year, even in this decade, in the name of Jesus, amen. Blessed be your name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So our scripture focus for tonight is taken from the book of Acts chapter 4, from verse 19 to 20. Acts 4, 19 to 20. And it says, But Peter and John answered them, Whether it is right in the sight of God to listen to you rather than to God, you must judge. For we cannot but speak of what we have seen and heard. Hallelujah. So with this scripture focus, we're going to 
we're going to pray for the people, for this people group to listen and to obey God. We're going to pray that they will hear God's message and tell others about his marvelous work. In the name of Jesus, amen. We pray in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray Masuba Kalikedosa, Masuba Handa for the Dongo in, in Kazakhstan. We pray, oh God, that these people will begin to listen. They will hear and they will obey your word. In the name of Jesus, amen. We pray you will open their heart to receive your word. Open their ears, oh God. They will hear you. They will listen. They will obey your word, Lord. In the name of Jesus, amen. Lord, we pray, oh God, that as they hear the message and the truth about Christ, they will tell others of his marvelous work. They will tell others of your marvelous works in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray, oh God, that as your word get to these people, to the to the uh people, don't go people in in Kyrgyzstan, we we'll pray, O oh God, that they will hear your word and they will obey you. They will hear the word of the Lord and they will obey you. We we'll pray that they will believe it in their hearts, O oh God, and they will begin to share the word of the Lord. They will tell others of the marvelous works of Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, they will choose to receive your word. They will choose to obey your command in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh Father, we pray in the name of Jesus, that the Dongo people in Kyrgyzstan, as they hear your word, Father, they will receive it in their heart, they will believe it, and they will choose to obey you. They will choose to obey your command in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray, oh God, that they, as they hear the gospel, the message of God over, they will tell others, their families, their friends, and all around them of the marvelous work of God in the name of Jesus. They will tell of the wonders of Jesus. Masuka In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, we thank you, Lord. Thank you for opening in the hearts and the minds of those people to receive your word. Thank you because as they hear your word, oh God, they are carrying your message. They are sharing it to the members of their communities, of their families, oh God, causing the word of the Lord to spread across the Dongan in Kazakhstan in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for your marvelous works among those people. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Next, we're going to pray. We're going to pray for peace in Kazakhstan and for a stable, effective, and just government. Amen. Lord, we we'll pray, O oh God, for peace in Kazakhstan. We we'll pray for a stable and effective and judge, just government in the name of Jesus. We we'll pray for peace in Kazakhstan. We we'll pray for peace in Kazakhstan. We we'll pray for a stable, effective, and just government in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We'll pray for peace in Kazakhstan. We'll pray for a stable and effective government. We'll pray for a just government for the Kazakhstan people in the name of Jesus. A government that will embrace the gospel. Oh, that will not pass law that will hinder the gospel to from coming into their country in the name of Jesus. We'll pray for a peaceful, stable, and effective and just government for Kazakhstan in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. A government through which the word of the Lord will come into their community, will spread across Kazakhstan and even all of their communities in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Mante libre de lepa supahakapaladosa. We'll pray for peace in Kazakhstan. We'll pray for stable, we'll pray for effective and just government for the Kazakhstan in the name of Jesus. Masupa handa legede lepa supakakapa lefto sika kalibre hende manto sika pale koto segede. We'll pray for peace in Kazakhstan. We'll pray for a stable, we'll pray for an effective and just government for Kazakhstan in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Mas 
Pasupa han le Jesus, le pasu kakala kada kada, le Jesus super han da le kede. They shall begin to experience your peace, O oh God. They shall begin to enjoy your peace, O oh God. Even as your word gets to them, they will experience peace in their community, in their families, O Masika pakala kada kada. In their individual life, they will experience your peace and stability. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Le super han da le kede. Manto sika libre kede kede. Father, we pray for peace in Kazakhstan. We pray for a stable, effective, and just government in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Masika pahanda kalegede. Thank you for the peace, the stability, for the effective and just government in Kazakhstan right now. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Next, we're going to pray for a movement to Christ to spread and benefit everyone spiritually, physically, and economically in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, we are praying Masukahanda for a movement to Christ among the Kazakhstan, a movement to Christ among the 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 Dongo people of Kazakhstan that the word of the Lord will spread across their communities, across their homes, across families in the name of Jesus. We we'll pray for a movement of Christ that will spread and benefit everyone spiritually, physically, and economically in the name of Jesus. We'll pray, O oh God, for a movement to Christ among the Kazakhstan, a movement to Christ among the Dongo in Kazakhstan. Oh, that the word of the Lord will spread over all of Kazakhstan, all of the Dongo Kazakhstan in the name of Jesus Christ. And this word will benefit them spiritually, will benefit them physically will benefit them economically in the mighty name of jesus we pray for a movement to christ among those people a movement to christ a church planting movement a disciple making movement a whole movement to christ among those people group in the mighty name of jesus christ amen Lento si pa hanka leketosa, Lord, we pray, masuba haka lagados, for a movement to Christ among the Dongo in Kazakhstan, a movement to Christ that will benefit them economically, spiritually, even physically, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Masuka ka leketos, le pa suba handa ka lagada, leto si pa hanka leketosa, o pa le suba handa ka leketos, we pray by this movement, O God, the word of the Lord will cover the entire the whole of the dongo kazakhstan in the name of jesus that everyone in their community will come to hear about the word of the lord they will come to hear the gospel of jesus they will come to know about christ about the work of jesus about the salvation of that eternal life in the mighty name of jesus and they will believe and they will receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Lord, we pray for a movement to Christ that among the Dongo in Kazakhstan. We pray for a movement to Christ that will spread and benefit everyone spiritually, physically, and economically. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. Lord, we give you praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Next, we're going to pray. We're praying that the few followers of Christ among the Dongo would fellowship together and hear the call to share the gospel with their neighbors. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord, who we'll commit the few followers of Christ among the Dongan people, those in Mongolis, Masuka Paka we'll pray, O Lord, for those in Mongolia, the Dongo Christian, that they will fellowship together, they will hear the word of the Lord, and they will share the gospel of Christ among their neighbors in the name of Jesus. Amen. We'll pray for the few followers of Christ among the Dongan people, they will fellowship together, they will hear 
hear the call to share the gospel with their neighbors in the name of Jesus. Amen. We we'll pray, O oh Lord, for the few followers among the Dongo people. Father, we we'll ask that they will fellowship together. They will come together and fellowship in the name that is above all name, Jesus Christ. They will fellowship together. They will hear the call to share the good news with their neighbors in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. They will share the good news with the rest of their community, with their homeland in the name of Jesus. Even in their language, Lord, they will share the gospel of Jesus with their families and friends and their neighbors and the whole of their communities in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we pray, O oh God, for the few followers of Christ among the Dongo people. We we'll pray that they will fellowship together. They will come together in the name of Jesus Christ. They will hear the call to share the gospel among their communities, among their neighbors, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We'll pray, Lord, for the few followers of Christ among the Dongo, that they will fellowship together. They will hear the call to share the gospel with their neighbors in the name of Jesus. My super hand that will pray that as they hear the word of Lord, their hearts will be open to receive. They will believe it, oh God, and they will receive the salvation of Jesus. They will receive eternal life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we thank you, Lord. Awesome God, we worship you. My super hand, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for bringing those people together, the few Christians among the Dongo people. Thank you for bringing them together in fellowship, oh God, by the Spirit of the Lord. Thank you for bringing them together in fellowship, Lord. Thank you for causing them to hear the call, the call to take the gospel, to share the gospel with their neighbors and their families and their friends and all of their communities in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we honor you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, we thank you for the Dongo people in Kyrgyzstan. Thank you for remembering them this day. Thank you for what you are doing right now for the salvation of their souls, oh God, for, to, for pulling them closer to you, drawing them to your kingdom. This day, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for what you're doing in, in and around them right now and what you will still do. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Right now we're going to pray for every soul that have been ordained unto salvation, that have been marked to be saved this day, that the grace that brings salvation will appear to them this day in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So we pray in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask, oh God, that every soul that have been marked for salvation today, all that have been ordained unto salvation this day, we pray that your word will get to them, your word will hit them wherever they are, oh Lord. Let your grace that brings salvation appear unto them right now, appear to them right now, oh, so that they will receive your word, they will receive the gospel of Jesus and be saved to the glory of your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We we'll pray that salvation will not pass them by this day. They will receive your word by all means, oh God, your word will get to them and they will be saved because this is a day of their salvation. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We thank you, Lord, for every missionary, every foot soldier, every evangelist, all that are on the go for Christ, bring the good news about Christ to the ends of the earth. We pray, oh God, that you continue to empower them. You continue to empower them physically, spiritually, financially, in all way round, Lord. In the name of Jesus, strengthen their faith. Continue to send them your word, oh God, your fresh word, your word of salvation, your right word for every man. Let them continue to receive the flow of your word. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Lord, we thank you, Lord. Thank you for those missionaries. Thank you, Lord. We pray that you keep them away from every danger, from every evil. Protect them, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 
Lord, we pray, O oh Lord, committing every intercessor in the house, all that are joining in tonight's prayer, all that will join later, even through a brief broadcast. We pray that you bless them, Lord. We pray that the grace, O oh God, will continue to stand in the gap, O oh Lord, be released upon them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We we'll pray, O oh God, that if there be any issue of concern, O oh God, over their lives, it shall be torn by a testimony, O oh God. As they stand in the gap, O oh God, you will stand for them in every area of their life in the mighty name of jesus christ amen lord we thank you lord for all that will come in contact with this video with the joy in zoe prayer materials oh god we'll pray that as they come in contact to god if they are yet to be saved lord they shall be convicted they shall be converted and they shall be saved uh, to the glory of your name in the mighty name of jesus christ amen lord we thank you jesus we honor you Thank you, Father, for answers to all of our prayers, for all that you are doing right now as a result of this prayer. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you for empowering our prayer tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed be your name, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, family. Thank you for joining us in tonight's prayer. Don't forget this prayer continues again tomorrow, 9 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. Do well to like, share, comment, and also invite your friends and family to join and stand the gap to intercede for the unreached people and the unsaved across the world. As you do this, the Lord continue to bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful night rest. Shalom, shalom.